Welcome, I'm Rob. You join me at Team Sport Sheffield for an elite members event. This event is Heat Seeker. We had a 10 minute qualifying session in yesterday's video, which set the grid for this race. My qualifying time with a 58.332 had me starting in fifth place on the grid of 12 drivers. So with the grid now set, it's just time to wait for those lights to change. So I've had an okay start, but I am happy to fight to maintain my fifth place through the first couple of corners. At this point, I want to give a big shout out to Batley as he passed me on some of his external footage from some of these races and they will be shown in that small window at various points. By the time we have made it round top pits bend, I've managed to assert my authority over fifth place and it's now time to close up the gap to the carts ahead. I'm finding myself having to defend quite hard as this cart just doesn't quite feel as strong as cart 8 did. The gap ahead is certainly starting to open up as we start the second lap, but I just don't know if I can close that gap with this car. I'm receiving quite a few taps from behind through the lower pit section, but I'm saved for now with a red flag. We had a very brief yellow flag which turned red again almost immediately but it was enough to get us to the top of the big ramp. After another brief pause we finally went to yellow and shortly after that got to green and got underway. I was fortunate with the positioning of the flag so I have closed up to the carts ahead but I really don't think I'm going to stay here for very long. Hopefully now that is it for the interruptions and it's time to get a feel for the cart, which really doesn't feel that fast on the straights, but feels okay for the corners. If this race is going to go well for me, I'm going to have to defend quite hard throughout most of the lap. The carts ahead are already opening up that gap, so I'm just going to focus on defending. And the first flying lap is a 59.5. If that's the pace I'm gonna have throughout this race, there's a problem. The cart behind is having a look coming up the ramp. With my lack of power, they have managed to outdrag me. And then I'm surprised by another cart sticking up the inside. The hand raising was because of the small contact and my surprise at the pass. Another cart has had another look and I've had to fight back, but again, they've managed to outdrag me. This cart just has no low end power. So that was a very poor lap overall. I've dropped from 5th down to 8th place in just a few corners.
there is still race two to come, which is a reverse grid. So the further back I finish, the further forwards I start the next race. Go to look at the positives. At least for the time being, there is a small gap to the traffic behind me, but I'm still egging the cart along as it just does not want to move. So that gap closed up rather quickly and yet another driver has come through. This was the driver who should have qualified a lot higher up but her engine blew up at the end of quality. I wasn't fighting back there. Just with the line that she took through the lower pits, I closed up quickly and the speed difference going up the ramp really shows how bad this cart is. She is less than half my weight though, which also helps. There's just two laps to go though, hopefully I can hold off losing any more positions. I set my fastest lap of the race on that lap, a 59.3. This car really, really doesn't have any more than that. I'm so far off the pace at this moment, I'm just waiting for this race to come to an end. And as we come up the ramp for the final time, there's no chequered flag, but the lights shortly turn to yellow, and that is the end of our race. Now, as we turn the corner, we see the marshal with the chequered flag to confirm it. So overall, that's a rather disappointing race from my perspective. I've started in fifth place, and I've swiftly realized that this car just wasn't that good. Throughout the race, I've managed to drop down to ninth place overall. And that's a good thing in a way, as it means I do start race two from a higher starting position, to the reverse starting group, so I will be starting in fourth place. As always, thank you so much for joining me on my go-karting adventures. If you have liked this video, please do give it a thumbs up and leave any feedback down below in the comments. If you haven't yet, please do subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on the next races. Race two comes tomorrow, so until then, cheers.